going on everybody this is Giovanni from spy options trading I'm really excited to make this video today for you guys I think it'll be very helpful for all you technical traders out there to visually build a script on ThinkScript uh, to help you identify easier quicker and a more clear picture of your strategy this is gonna be a very extreme basic tutorial on ThinkScript. There's a couple of basics that you have to understand about scripting, but I'll show you here uh, today. I, um, I'm just gonna make a quick uh, uh, sort of script or algorithm using the uh, MACD indicator. It seems to be a very popular one. So let's get right down to it. Um, on our chart here, we're gonna right click, hit studies, edit studies, we're going to look up the MACD indicator. We're going to right click on it and then we're going to view. This is essentially the code for the MACD line. Everything you see here, we're going to copy and paste part of the code here for our script. Highlight all of this, all of this. Okay. Just down to here. The reason why it's just down to here is all the other uh, coding is mainly just for colors and whatnot. So this is the actual meat of the script. So we're gonna copy, exit. We're gonna create our very own. Don't forget to uh, name it first. So we're gonna use example underscore MACD underscore YouTube because this is gonna go on my YouTube channel. We're gonna hit copy and paste. And really quick, the first thing I need to do is anywhere it says plot, we're going to change those to DEF or define. Perfect. And we're going to enter, enter, start new line here. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to copy and paste from down below. I've, I've put it in the description below um, the two sort of custom scripts for the signals. So this is gonna be for up arrows. So we're gonna use the up arrow one. We're gonna copy and paste. You can see it's arrow up. So here in between these two here, we're gonna actually script in our algorithm, our criteria for the up arrows. So let's say, for instance, as of right now, I'm just gonna hit okay. I'm going to hit OK. Let's say, for instance, we're looking for the fast line to cross over the uh, slow line um, anywhere it crosses up, going up, right? So maybe like right, right here, uh, maybe right here. But let's just say again, just um, for example purposes, we are going to hit edit and then really and truly we need to know and understand that uh, which one's the fast line and which one's the slow line in our script here so it is going to be the value is the fast line and the average is going to be the slow line so any anytime the value line crosses over the slow line which is the average so really quick um, again, this is where your knowledge, uh, basic knowledge of scripting comes into play. play. Uh, we are looking to find where the pr value previous is less than the average previous. And the value of the current is now greater than the average of the current. So, and essentially in a nutshell to describe what's going on here, the fast line in the previous candle is less than the average of the previous candle. But now the fast line is now greater than the slow line currently. And we're gonna hit apply, we're gonna hit okay, apply okay. And there you have it, folks. Um, this is everywhere the fast line uh, crosses over the slow line. 
you can see right there you can see pre-market there see here there there and there there i mean there's it crosses over many times let's add um, a little bit more criteria and to add a filter let's say you only want to uh, see where the fast line crosses the slow line but is above the zero line so you only want it to cross up above so we're going to right click studies edit studies edit sources so we got to hit and say both lines the value line is greater than the zero line and the average line is greater than the zero line and you can tell here that we've defined what the zero line is so this is why we switch all of the uh, plot um, sort of places where it's a plot to define because we have to define uh, what we need to script here so um, value is greater than zero average is greater than zero so we're gonna hit apply okay okay so see how it took away all these other ones here and now we're left with just this one and this one in pre-market so anywhere the fast line crosses over the slow line above the uh, zero line you'll get a signal there let's just go back just to quickly back test here uh, crossed over there see it's the only time and crossed several times here look at that good deal again this is a very basic tutorial of things script you can filter this as much as you'd like you can keep adding uh, filters or scripts or criteria or algorithm whatever you like to call them um, and then you do the exact opposite on the uh, down arrows uh, you hit studies really and truly um, you can take this edit source you can just copy all all of this here and then we're gonna hit create now we're doing example MACD YouTube down for instance delete this and copy and paste everything everything's gonna stay the same except that we're gonna change greater than equal to literally the exact opposite of what you see here and there's another thing that you have to switch is the arrow up we're going to change that to arrow down and but again i'm just going to go ahead and put this custom uh, script for the arrows down below both separate ones so we're going to hit ok but on top of that we're going to change the color by hitting the gear here like using this here okay apply apply and there you have it anywhere the fast line crosses the um, slow line going downward um, and it's below the zero line you're going to get a red arrow you can do this with any indicator uh, you just have to copy and paste the actual code of of you know the actual indicator for instance rsi line view you can hit input define define do, 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 all the way down to right here this is the rsi line another very uh, common indicator to use you would just copy this change your plots to define and you can start um, scripting again you have to have a very basic knowledge or understanding of scripting like that before which is uh, this one right here um, in brackets the one in brackets that means the before um, uh, sort of candle and that's how you find crossovers if you guys have any questions of any sort comment down below uh, don't send me an email what I am trying to do with this video is uh, if you have a question I will help you as much as I can 
um, with the knowledge that I have, with the limited knowledge that I have. And the reason why I want you to uh, put a comment in here is somebody might have the same question as you did and everybody can find that answer easily within the comments. If this was helpful or if you like this uh, video, uh, give it a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Um, like and share my videos. I would greatly appreciate it, guys. And I hope that this helps you become a better trader, guys. Thank you so much.